The Free Territory Ukrainian, Vilna Territoria Vilna Territoria, Russian, Volna Territoria Volnaya Territoria or Maknovia Monofsina Maknovsina resulted from an attempt to form a stateless anarchist society during the Ukrainian Revolution of 1917–1921. It existed from 1918–1921, during which time, free Soviets and libertarian communes operated under the protection of Nestor Makhno's Revolutionary Insurrectionary Army. The area had a population of around 7 million. The territory was established with the capture of Huliaipol by Makhno's forces on 27 November 1918. An insurrectionary staff was set up in the city, becoming the territory's de facto capital. Russian forces of the White Movement under Anton Denikin occupied part of the territory and formed a temporary government of southern Russia in March 1920, resulting in the de facto capital being momentarily moved to Kateranoslav modern-day Dnipro. In late March 1920 Denikin's forces retreated from the area, being driven out by the Red Army in cooperation with Makhno's forces, whose units conducted guerrilla warfare behind Denikin's lines. The territory was disestablished on 28 August 1921 when a badly wounded Makhno and 77 of his men escaped through Romania after several high-ranking officials were executed by Bolshevik forces. Remnants of the Black Army would continue to fight until late 1922. As the Free Territory self-organized along anarchist principles, references to «control» and «government» are highly contentious. For example, the Makhnovists, often cited as a form of government with Nestor Makhno as their «leader», played a purely military role, with Makhno himself functioning as little more than a military strategist and advisor. History Topic. Development and characteristics From November 1918 to June 1919, the Revolutionary Insurrectionary Army of Ukraine attempted to establish an anarchist society run by peasants and workers in Ukraine. The territory under their control stretched approximately between Berdyansk, Donetsk, Alexandrovsk later known as Zaporizhia, and Yekaterinoslav, Sichislav, later Dnipropovosk, now Dnipro. According to Makhno, the agricultural majority of these villages was composed of peasants, one would understand at the same time both peasants and workers. They were founded first of all on equality and solidarity of its members. Everyone, men and women, worked together with a perfect conscience that they should work on fields or that they should be used in housework. The work program was established in meetings in which everyone participated. Then they knew exactly what they had to do." Makhno, Russian Revolution in Ukraine, 1936. According to the leaders of the Revolutionary Insurrectionary Army of Ukraine society was reorganized according to anarchist values, which lead Makhnovists to formalize the policy of free communities as the highest form of social justice. Education followed the principles of Francis Ferrer, and the economy was based on free exchange between rural and urban communities, from crops and cattle to manufactured products, according to the theories of Peter Kropotkin. The Makhnovists said they supported free worker peasant Soviets and opposed the central government. Makhno called the Bolsheviks dictators and opposed the Cheka secret police and similar compulsory authoritative and disciplinary institutions." He called for "...freedom of speech, press, assembly, unions and the like." The Makhnovists called various congresses of Soviets, in which all political parties and groups, including Bolsheviks, were permitted to participate, to the extent that members of these parties were elected delegates from worker, peasant or militia councils. By contrast, in Bolshevik territory after June 1918, no non-Bolsheviks were permitted to participate in any national Soviets and most local ones, the decisions of which were also all subject to Bolshevik party veto. A declaration stated that Makhnovist revolutionaries were forbidden to participate in the Cheka, and all party-run militias and party police forces including Cheka-like secret police organizations were to be outlawed in Makhnovist territory. Historian Heather Noel Schwartz comments that, "...Makhno would not countenance organizations that sought to impose political authority, and he accordingly dissolved the Bolshevik Revolutionary Committees." 
The Bolsheviks, however, accused him of having two secret police forces operating under him. The Bolsheviks began their formal efforts to disempower Makhno on 4 June 1919 with Trotsky's Order No. 1824, which forbade electing a Congress and attempted to discredit Makhno by stating, The Makhno Brigade has constantly retreated before the White Guards, owing to the incapacity, criminal tendencies, and the treachery of its leaders. Defeat The Bolshevik government in Petrograd initially allied with Makhno and considered allowing an independent area for Makhno's libertarian experiment. But the Bolsheviks increasingly saw the Makhnovists as a threat to their power, both as an example and as a site of anarchist influence. It restarted a propaganda campaign declaring the Free Territory to be a region of warlords, and eventually broke with it by launching surprise attacks on Makhnovist militias despite the pre existing alliance between the factions. The Bolshevik press alleged that leaders in the Free Territory, rather than being democratically elected, were appointed by Makhno's military clique. They also alleged that Makhno himself had refused to provide food for Soviet railwaymen and telegraph operators, that the special section of the Makhnovist constitution provided for secret executions and torture, that Makhno's forces had raided Red Army convoys for supplies, stolen an armored car from Bryansk when asked to repair it, and that the Nobit group was responsible for deadly acts of terrorism in Russian cities. <laughs> Politics The Free Territory was a stateless and egalitarian society. Workers and peasants were organized into anarchist communities governed via a process of participatory democracy and were linked via an anarchist federation. When the insurrectionary army liberated a town from state control, it would post a notice clarifying they would not impose any authority on the town. Workers, your city is for the present occupied by the revolutionary insurrectionary army. This army does not serve any political party, any power, any dictatorship. On the contrary, it seeks to free the region of all political power, of all dictatorship. It strives to protect the freedom of action, the free life of the workers, against all exploitation and domination. The Makhnovist army does not therefore represent any authority. It will not subject anyone to any obligation whatsoever. Its role is confined to defending the freedom of the workers. The freedom of the peasants and the workers belongs to themselves, and should not suffer any restriction. Economy The economy of free Ukraine was a mixture of anarcho-communism and mutualism, with factories, farms and railways becoming cooperatives and several moneyless communities being created. The majority of territories continued to use money but planned to become anarcho-communist territories following the Russian Civil War. Education The Free Territory abolished compulsory education and established several schools and adult education centers based off democratic education. Flags. In the Free Territory, multiple variations of black flags were used by the Revolutionary Insurrectionary Army and the Free Soviets, often with mottos written on them. Ukrainian anarchist Viktor Belish said in his memoirs that flags with slogans such as, Power generates parasites, long live anarchy, and All power to the Soviets right now, were used at the Gulyai Poly District Soviet and Insurgent Army headquarters. A photo showing a flag with a death's head and the motto, Death to all those who stand in the way of the working people is often attributed to Makhnovists, first in the Soviet Russian book Jewish Pogroms 1917 1921, but this was denied by Nestor Makhno, who said the photo does not show Makhnovists at all. The back side of this flag has words translating roughly to Kish of Dnieper, the name Kish being used by military units of the Free Cossacks and the Ukrainian People's Republic. Criticism The Free Territory has been criticized for alleged anti-Semitic pogroms, banditry and sexual abuse of women within the Revolutionary Insurrectionary Army. 
Supporters of the Free Territory argue that some of these criticisms such as antisemitism are outright fabrications, or have been significantly exaggerated by Leninists to discredit anti-authoritarian forms of socialism. See also Revolutionary Insurrectionary Army of Ukraine Armed Forces of South Russia Topic. Notes Topic. Bibliography Peter Arshinov, History of the Makhnovist Movement 1918 Alexander Skirta, Nestor Makhno, Anarchy's Cossack, The Struggle for Free Soviets in the Ukraine 1917–1921. AK Press, 2004.